Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Heaven on Earth. Well, I've got a short email here from a guy who I answered an email of his in a previous video newsletter a ways back. And that original one was Let's Go Back to Your Place, the, you know, the first video where I answered his email. And so in his latest email, he discusses how following my, my work for nearly a year – has not only led him to become more successful with women, but how it's spilled over into every area of his life. And so I got a quote that I wrote on this topic, and I'm going to go through and discuss his email. And the quote says, Heaven on earth is different for every individual. Success is really being able to spend your life in your own way, having the freedom to do what you've always dreamed of doing with your time, and doing it with the kind of people you've always dreamed of doing it with. Everyone wants the best that they can get in every area of their life. They want the best lovers, the best houses, the best cars, the best friends, the best jobs, the best businesses, the best bodies, and health that they can create or obtain. The more you focus on becoming the best version of yourself that you can become, the more you will be able to attract and obtain the people and circumstances that you've always dreamed about. Like attracts like. People who have high standards for themselves are going to attract other like-minded people who share the same high standards. Raise your standards and you will raise the quality of the people and circumstances in your life. So he says, hey Corey, I just would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've been following your work for nearly a year, mainly for success with women, but this success has spilled over into all areas of my life. I never looked or felt better and today I landed a job I thought I'd never be able to get. I talk about this in the book. It's like because most of the men and women who come to me, they're trying to get an ex back. They're trying to fix a relationship or maybe they're trying to become more successful with members of the opposite, opposite success, sex and I help them do that. But really being attractive to members of the opposite sex is all about – being a more attractive person, being more interesting, being more successful, doing more things that make you happy. I mean think about it. If you get up every day and you get to wake up – like for me, I get to wake up when I want. I make the hours that I want. Now there's a couple of days a week where I have some things that I get up early for. But the earliest I, – I, I, if I set an alarm clock, we're talking like 9 o'clock in the morning on like Mondays and Wednesdays to get up and maybe go to the chiropractor. But other than that, when I get up, the rest of the week is when I get up. Even like when I, I book to travel, I'm booking the, the flight for like 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Why? So I can fucking sleep in. I hate alarm clocks. When I was working for other people 20 something years ago, especially like when I was working in the construction industry, getting up at, I had, having to be at the job site every day at 6.30 in the morning before the sun came up where you're literally getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning every day, that fucking sucks. I hated it. And now I get to choose my life. I mean really success is not so much how much money you got in your bank. It's about being able to get up and do what you want. Going to work at a job that you love, something that you're passionate about or going to work at a business that you're passionate about that's yours. Something that you really enjoy, that you have a passion for, that's exciting, that's compelling to the point where it doesn't seem like work. I mean I have some projects that I'm working on for my – my website and some other things because I'm always doing that and I really enjoy those and sometimes on the weekends I'm working on those things. Sometimes late at night I'm working on those things because to me it's not work. I just do it because it's so enjoyable and it brings me a lot of satisfaction to work with some really amazing people that I work with that are on my team and create really great things or make my website load faster or come up with a way to better deliver the content on my website so it's more useful and more relevant to people. I enjoy those things. I enjoy learning about those things. I like learning about new technologies and sharing those things. And that's the beauty of about being able to spend your life in your own way is that you get to direct your focus and your time and your attention on tasks and things that you really enjoy. Because the more you're getting up every day doing things like that you've wanted to do, that you've chosen to do, that you've decided to do, you're going to be happier. And the happier you are, you're going to just naturally be more inclined to work out and to take better care of your body. If you work out and you take better care of your body, well, guess what? You're going to have more energy. You're going to need less sleep. You're going to be mentally sharper. That's going to make you more productive in your job. 
And if your body is physically better looking, I mean, people can see it in your skin. They can tell when you're healthy and you're going to be more attractive just because of that. Same thing with the quality of the people and the quality of the friends that you're in your life. If you have friends that challenge you and push you and who have high standards for themselves, if they see you slacking off, they're going to tell you about it. So you're naturally going to want to be better for yourself. If you're dating somebody that you kind of originally felt like they were out of your league, you're going to want to be better for them. Why? Because they deserve it and you deserve to have somebody like that in your life. But like attracts like. You've got to become the kind of person that you want to attract. It's not about a magic pickup line. It's about being awesome and creating an awesome life and lifestyle for yourself that you are proud of. Don't try to be a second-rate version of me or somebody else that you think is successful. Be a first-rate version of yourself because nobody is going to be able to be better at doing you than you. Do things that make you happy and do, do them with the kind of people that enjoy the same kinds of things that you do. He says, it's because of your videos and your book and thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing and make the world a great place for all of us. I found heaven right here on earth. And again, why, why does he say something like that? It, it took him a year to make all these changes in his life. So let's see. He focused because he originally came to me because he was trying to become more successful with women. He got that handled. And because he was so much more happier in his personal life, he says, I never looked or felt better. He's eating better quality foods. He's working out more. And he feels better. He physically feels better. And because he feels better and because he feels loved, because he's got the kind of women in his life that he wants, this job that he thought he'd never be able to get, do you think he's going to be a better interviewee when he goes in for that interview? Of course. Now he's walking in there. Some He's got women or a woman because he didn't say that make him feel loved and sexy and attractive and he's taking care of his body so he looks the part he feels the part so now he's he's going in to interview for a job he's smiling a lot more than the other people that are interviewing for that job he's happier and more than likely he has more success in his personal life not only than the people he's competing against for the job but also the people that are interviewing him and so he's carrying himself a little differently the kind of questions that he's asking are a little different he now sounds like a guy who has lots of choices and lots of options So he's no longer seems so overly eager and anxious to get the job. He's more in a peaceful, relaxed state. I saw an interview that uh, Bill Murray had done and it was a a written one. Somebody was interviewing him and one of the things he attributed his success to in life was that he said early on in his career, he said some – this person pulled him aside and and suggested some things to him and he said – you are much better when you are in a relaxed state. You'll be a much better actor and you'll be a lot more successful if you're relaxed. And so from that moment, he said that had a huge impact on him and how he approached his life. And so he focused on remaking his life so everything that he did and the people that he spent his time with kept him in a relaxed, peaceful state. And you've heard me say this numerous times in videos and I even referenced this – I think I referenced it in my book. Whereas we make better decisions when we're in a peaceful, relaxed state and when we make decisions when we're in a peaceful, relaxed state, our actions tend to bring about more life circumstances that keep us in a peaceful, balanced and relaxed state. If we're in a stress state, if we're fearful, if we're worried about things not going our way, the actions that we take when we're in that state – tend to bring more stress, more fear, more things to worry about and more circumstances that bring more fear and scarcity into our life. And this is you know, Bill Murray, one of the most successful actors in the world who attributes all of his success for the fact that he everything that he does in his life is to support and nurture him being in a relaxed state. So this particular viewer who is experiencing heaven on earth, his personal life is awesome. His body is awesome. His peer group is awesome. So all those three components of his life 
are when you're when you have enough of everything, when your cup is running runneth over, so to speak, you're going to be peaceful, you're going to be relaxed, you're going to be balanced, and the choices that you make and the actions that you take are going to bring more of that into your life. And so when you roll into a job interview, and you're content in your personal life, you're very content with your body. You're content with your peer group and your social life. It's very easy to be in a peaceful, relaxed state in that job. And so what happens? He gets this job that he never thought he'd be able to get. All because he focused on one simple thing, making his personal life heaven on earth. And again, that's going to be different for every single person that's watching this video. Because what makes me happy, you might hate doing. You might have no enjoyment at all and vice versa. What you love and enjoy, I might not have any interest in or your best friend might not have any interest in that but that's okay. The key is is that this is your life and for you to spend it doing things that you love and that you enjoy. And like I said, in one year's time, this guy has completely transformed his whole life and now he looks at the world and he's like, I'm living in my own personal, private heaven on earth. And that's why I do what I do is because I want everybody to be able to get up and have the kind of freedom that I have, to be able to get up and live the kind of lifestyle that I live, which in the lifestyle that I choose and the relationships and the people that I have in my life, those are what's great for me. Those are the choices that I've made. I give you the, the skills and the tools so you can make your choices that are good for you and you can create the lifestyle that you enjoy. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I will talk to you soon.